So before this video gets off, I just want to thank you guys a lot for the recent support on not just the recent War Thunder video, which right now I'm looking has about 402 views, um, which again, thank you so much. Again, not only on this specific video, the last War Thunder video, which will be linked down in the description if you guys haven't seen it. But I also want to thank you in the recent support on all the other videos. Like recently, the channel's been kind of popping off, and it's, I, I, I don't know, it, it's just weird and it blows my mind and it makes me happy that the channel's kind of blowing up a little bit uh, in terms of views. And uh, we just, we recently gained, I think, about 25 subscribers in the last couple weeks, which uh, for the longest time I was sitting at, I think I was like sitting at, 3 318 or something because YouTube keeps on subbing people from the channel who are active sitting at if I if I look here and I do apologize for the long intro so I'll put a timestamp to skip right now we're sitting at 338 subs right now and again I just want to thank you guys so much for the love and support on the channel again it's been blowing up the latest video is sitting at almost at 1.2 thousand views which i'm just blown away that it it got to that point and then the war thunder video sitting at a 402 views i just want to thank you guys so much for the love and the support on all the videos and i want to thank you for subscribing as well i've been having a tough time in life right now and i don't want to make this one of those sappy videos or those classic feel bad for me videos but I've been having a tough time in life right now and seeing the growth on the channel and seeing all the love and support, it, it's been really helping me. So thank you. But I wanted to do a combo video for you guys today. And that's going to be, again, using the Tiger 2 105. And then we're also going to be using the Yag Tiger. You also guys can see I have um, two Tiger 2s and then the HE219 along with the K4 BF109. Shut up and let you guys get to the gameplay here. So we got the Soviets, British, and the Japanese on our side. Again, the reason why I am starting with the Tiger II, at least having the Tiger II 105 KWK in this uh, combo video is because, again, I just want to talk about the the Lurver. Again, I'll, I'll put a, the full name in a picture on screen for you guys. But I just think the Lurver is a perfect in-between for the German tech tree. It's also just one of my favorite prototype paper tank designs that Germany created during World War II. And it was actually supposed to be a replacement for the Tiger II. And the reason why I'm using the 105 version that never actually existed is because this is the closest we have to the, I think it's the Panzerkampfwagen 7. I think it's 7. The uh, Bulldog. Okay. I thought it was a super purging for a second. I don't know why. Just It's just, in my opinion, it's one of the sexiest looking German or paper tanks that they ever designed. And I really, I really wish Germany would have at least made a actual like prototype like they did with the E100 and the mouse. Or I think, actually, it was two mouse chassis, and then one of them was fully completed. Fully completed is a very loose term, so don't get... Okay, stop backing up, homeboy. Let me drive... Thank you. Oh, and then you move forward. Okay. There's the Super Pershing. He bounced. He could have aimed for my turret, and he could have penned. Maybe he did aim for the turret, I don't know. Please don't get shot in the side. I don't know where I can pen him. I can't pen. I have to shoot the left side of the turret. At least we got his gunner. That's another thing. Like, you can face helicopters in this. All, all because Gaijin doesn't have a... I don't know what you want to call it. Like a battle rating splitter or something. They just need to put something in the game to where it divides eras like that's all they really have to do is they need to put something in the game that divides eras so we're not facing korea era tanks which to be fair most of the tanks oh i was confused at what that was for a second it was just an m51 
shit, that's a Pershing. And that's why I love this cannon. This gun is just insane. You can pen insane angles like that. And this shell does have almost 252 pens. Pens? Yeah, that makes sense. Where's that other T26? Okay, that was a Donier I was hearing the entire time. What are you... Okay, oh, I'm glad I killed that. That thing's scary. Which, that's another one of my favorite tanks. At least one of my favorite French vehicles. Is the Super Bias. Okay, there's a vehicle over there. Just mark that for the team. Another vehicle right here. Okay. I don't know what just shot our turret. No clue what just shot our turret. Kind of stuck in a hard place right here. If I back up, I'm going to get shot in the side from whoever hit me over here. And if I turn my turret, I'm going to get hit by this T-34. I did not mean to measure distance. Either way, I'm dead here. What? Oh, that's a... That's... That's a bat... Nope. That's an AMX. Or a Lorraine. What, there, I do have some video ideas of taking in um, the B-17, the B-24, and the B-29, making separate videos on them, and trying to carpet bomb in realistic battles. If you guys want to see that attempt, just let me know. I, I might make a test video with the B-17 and just see how you guys like it and see how that goes. Um, but it's definitely been an idea I've been uh, conjuring up to make a video on, because... Bringing in bombers and ground realistic, it's not, it's not the play. Either way, one of us is going to be bait. It's more than likely going to be me because I'm a slow tank destroyer. Oh, fuck. That's really annoying. Oh, okay, he's getting hit by AA of sorts. Or our ME-262 who lost his wing. That's funny, a Corsair killed him. Nice job, Tiger. Still got that... Okay, the T-34 died, but we still got the Yantos. The, oh, they changed their uh, artillery strikes. That's cool. I kind of, I like that way better than what the smoke used to be. I feel like it should be red though, not orange. God, I love this gun too. The one, the German 128, the, the German 128 and 105 is just, oh, it's such a good cannon. I'm glad that one tapped him because normally big guns like this do not one tap the M109s. Only if you hit the ammo, and even then it just it doesn't one tap it sometimes. This isn't really the best match for the Jagdtiger here, for a tank destroyer, a casemate to be exact. Um, so we got Britain, Japan, France, and Sweden on our side, and we're facing Israel, America, and Soviet Union. That's going to mean to be fun. So we're going to be dealing with IS-3s, IS-6s. That's going to be a little annoying to deal with, especially from the front. The IS-3s are a little bit better because we can just shoot the nose cone. Also known as the gun mainly. I just call it the nose cone because it looks like a fucking cone. Here he is. I don't know what it is, but... I oh. Attention to the map. It's the mini Bradley and I just nuked it with a 128. I'm, I'm still pretty upset at Gaijin. So, you guys remember when they were getting rid of the mouse in the Panther, in the Panther 2 along with the uh, Coelian? Or the Flak Panzer 341, I think it was? Uh, I can't see. stated when they were doing that, getting rid of the those tanks, they stated all you had to do was, as long as you had at least one research point on that vehicle, 
you would have it and you could continue to research it when they take the vehicles away now i had one research on the mouse and then i had one re i had like several thousand on both the panther 2 and the mouse and then when they released the update or hotfix however they i can't remember how they specifically did it when they got rid of those vehicles they got rid of the panther 2 for me even though i had research points on it but i have the mouse so I'm, I'm a little salty that i don't have the panther 2 either though all they said as long as you have research on it the vehicle will stay in your lineup your tech tree whatever so i'm a little salty that i got the panther 2 stolen for me Take the barrel. Don't shoot my track. That's cheating. Tiger 2, please. Kill it. I think I think he just lost his barrel. Yep, he lost his barrel as well. There might be two of them actually. I'm sorry, Tiger 2. I'm so sorry. I feel your pain. He took my barrel too. I'm not sure I'll be able to get the reload off. I you know, it's only my muzzle brake that's gone. I wish I could still reload. That would be great. You're not shooting my track, because I know... Wait, what? Fuck, and there's a T-44. What? I'm a little... What? I'm a little confused on how he penned that. Alright, YOLO. Ah, that's funny. Now I'm dead. Oh! I think that was a heat round. Yag Tiger, please. Yag Tiger, please. Yag Tiger, please. Please do your job. God damn it. Then you kill him. Alright, let's spawn in the uh, P. The, nope. <laughs> BF 109, almost said P 51. Corsair? Wow, really bad. Okay, the Corsair did not roll the way I wanted him to roll. He's really fixated on trying to kill an Arado. Hopefully the Arado doesn't die. I overshot drastically and could not aim. If you could tell, I'm not good with planes. Which is ironic because I'm such a huge aviation fan. Got their Corsair. Oh, a BTR. I can pen the BTR. If 50 cows can kill BTR, these 20 mils and 15 mils. I feel like that should have killed him. I got very close to dying there from that T-54. And there's another T-54. All right, so we got one of my favorite maps, Abandoned Factory, three cap, and uh, we're just gonna go to A, and then like everyone else in the in the server. Hey, you go first, Ferdy. You go first. Ooh, that's a lot of big boys. That is a lot of big boys. And he exploded. Holy shit! Get him, Ferdy. Oh. Oh, the, there's a Doom Turtle. I cannot fight a Doom Turtle. Awesome. Thank you very much. Nice. Did he explode? No, not really. Tiger 2, don't do it. Tiger 2, there's a Doom Turtle over there. Nope. Yuck, you asshole. I knew he was going to do that. I knew he wasn't going to drive a little bit farther. Ah, oh, shit. What is... I don't 
know what that is. Okay. That is the T-26 with the rocket bots. No, don't, no, turn left, not right. I'm gonna die here, I just know it. God damn it. Did he shoot heat at me? Yeah, he shot heat at me. It bounced off my front plate. And then hit my cannon somehow. It is weird like that, how heat rounds can bounce. I hear a plane and I don't like it. Thank you, friendly Yogtiger. Well. It's an F3. Rip. Oh shit. I call that an F3, but I'm I'm wrong. I got you, brother. Blind fire. Alright, fair enough. He can kill me, so that's okay. As long as I can get this repair off. Oh, that's a bomb. Your 20 mils are useless against me. Oh my god. They do not like us, do they? Wait, do you have bombs? I think that B-25 just dropped bombs. Yeah. He did, and he missed. Good. No! It's a BMP. That's what I'm saying. That's... I think the BMP was, like... Design in the 50s came out in the 60s. I think. Yag Tiger, are you blind? I think he's blind. More bombs. Oh my god. God, they own. Um, typical American having air superiority. That's okay, though, because I love American aircraft. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just scoot, scooch you over here. Help prepare my, my fellow brother. Ugh. Gotta love the P 47. You gotta love every American aircraft, even the P-40, which was severely underperforming compared to every other Axis aircraft during the war. I hear a jet. Okay, it's... is that a Panther? Banshee? Phantom? F-80? That's a Spitfire. That's a Bearcat. That's a Corsair. Jesus Christ, the entire U.S. Army Air Corps is over here. Got P-47s, Corsairs, a B-25, everything. It's funny because every aircraft that the Yag Tiger had a goal against during World War II is in this fucking game right now. Is in this match. BTR, what you doing? Okay, well, Bearcat's dead, Corsair's dead. That's good. Let the spawn killing commence, I guess. Oh. Tell me that's not satisfying. The shell, the kill, and then hearing the ejection of that fucking shell. God, that's so sexy. Well, this side of the map fully got destroyed because my team ran into their spawn instead of sitting outside of it. That B-25, I can see, is coming right at us. I am backing up. Oh, he got exploded. Nice shot, Type 99. Oh, we're both doing it. I way overshot that, buddy. I way overshot that, too. Oh, it's Ogre now. Oh, he overshot. We're good. Oh, you shouldn't have stopped. You should not have stopped. 
I got a fucking tactical nuke over here. So I'm an idiot, uh... What? You're telling me that fragments into his ammo but doesn't detonate him. That's a little stupid. So I wasn't recording, so the first half of this match is going to be through the replay system, so I do apologize. I don't know if I can pen this. No. Well, we're dead. Okay. I don't know where I can pen him, if I'm honest. That's a bulldog. We're dead. Okay. As long as we point our barrel. I need I need a friend. I I need a friend here. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Nope. 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 Don't one tap me. Don't one tap me. Okay, thank God. I'm really scared of that 76. I know, why scared of the 76 and not whatever can Oh hello. What are you? Oh, mm, mm, no, no, play it smart. You don't have gun depression to hit me anyways. Mr. Bulldog. Oh, he, he straight up, he straight up got out of there. So he's probably going to go this way, but I got a teammate over here, so that's good. Yeah, I do apologize for that, because I, I was talking the whole time, and I just forgot to hit the record button. Uh, let's kill that. Or not. Okay, the M109 is going to be looking at me here soon. Okay, the whole re died. I don't know why he's sitting there. That's still not dead, huh? That He's been sitting there all game, by the way, guys. He's literally been sitting there all game, and I've been close to a nuke twice now. So I'm going to call an air asset and just bug the shit out of him, keep spotting him, piss him off, revenge bomb. You know, the usual War Thunder. Now I know these 40 mils and these 30s can pen the turret roof of that T-34. I think that PEA is going to nuke him. Are you going to nuke him? There we go. This is one of the best premium CAS planes, at least at this battle rating that Germany has. Well, actually the battle rating for this is 4-3, but it, it's such a good CAS plane. It didn't spot them though. Someone got a nuke. The enemy team got a nuke. Oh, we're dead. There he is. I, I'm sorry to do this, but I, I, I tried too hard to lose this game. Got a crit, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Suffered damage to his oil tank. Man, I, I'm not going to be... I'll spawn in the BF-109, but nothing's going to really happen because I'm not going to get there quick enough. Oh, wait, he's going down. Did he get the bomb off? Did he get the bomb off? He didn't get the bomb off, unless he's got a ridiculous bomb delay. Wow, okay, so apparently setting fire to him actually helped in slowing him down. Which, that that's... 
insane. Yeah, radar guided SPAA killed them. That's really frustrating. I, I know how it is. I remember... I made a video on this, but I, I remember actually getting a nuke when they like the first the first couple hours they released the nuke update i got a nuke and i got team killed i have that video somewhere on the channel i'll put a link down in the description for you guys if you want to watch that oh that a t29 just died t92 excuse me man i, I feel this guy's pain i know he's really upset right now ah shit we're too slow. We might not be able to get there. Damn, that's that's frustrating. That's frustrating for me and and Frosky over here because we were the top two players in our team and we still couldn't cap. Granted, I did spawn two aircraft. All right, so there you guys have it. There is the combo video of the Yag Tiger and the Tiger 2 105. Uh, I might make another dedicated video on the Yag Tiger just because I love this tank so much. It's one of my favorite German tank destroyers. My cousin is actually playing War Thunder right now, and I we're grinding the tiers with him. So this is our current progress with the tiers that he's grinding. So those are those videos. And uh, I'm going to try and split them up with the solo videos and then gr the grind videos with him. So if you guys like that, please let me know in the comments. And again, I do apologize for the constant uh, talking and the cutting in this video. I try to make it as entertaining as possible. And the long intro and outro here. So if you guys like it, please let me know in the comments. Again, thank you so much for the love and support on the videos, the subscriber count. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely light into my day seeing that. So again, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, ding dong, notification bell so you guys know what I upload next. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios, guys.